Hello, so I'm very excited about today's recipe because this is something I used to eat when I was growing up but not with all this scenario I add to it now. I've added my own twist to it and it is native jollof rice. I don't know if you ever had it growing up. You use palm oil and a bunch of native ingredients. See, before I start describing, let me show you just how easy it is to make this rice and trust me, you are going to love it. Anyway, if you're interested, keep watching. Don't forget to click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's start cooking native job of rice. Ooh, yeah. So these are the ingredients we're going to use. We're going to be using smoked catfish. I really love smoked catfish for this recipe. You can use any other smoked fish you have. I'm going to be using onions as well. I'll chop that. I'm also going to be using yellow pepper. I love this pepper for like local dishes, soups, and all that kind of good stuff. Next item is going to be my dried prawns. I'm going to be taking off the tail and the head and going to be grinding that separately. Next is ground crayfish. I'm also going to be using a bit of salt. In this bowl, I have two types of pepper, atarodo and tatashi. I'm also going to be using tomato. Palm oil gives this dish a very local taste, so we're going to be using some good palm oil. And then the next is rice, which I am going to be parboiling before cooking. I'm also going to be using vegetables. These ones are ugu leaves, and I'll be using pomo, chopped pomo. The first process is parboiling the rice. I'm going to be boiling the pepper mixture because it is very good to boil it before you fry it. It makes the frying process easier. When the water is almost dry like this, then I take it off the cooker. Heat up a pot and then add your palm oil. Wait until the palm oil is hot and then you're going to be adding your onions. The next thing I'm going to add is extract chopped peppers because I like my food very hot. This is iru I'm adding to the onion. It's going to give this dish that local flavor. <laughs> Now I'm going to be adding my blended pepper. Because of the aroma of the iru, the whole compound by now should be scenting something. Like this dish, when you're making it everywhere, just a son son, a son son. Now it's time to add all the goodies. I'm going to be adding crayfish. The next thing I'm going to be adding is my chopped momo, chopped into tiny, tiny pieces. Next, I'm going to be adding these scattered smoked catfish. I've already, you know, scattered them and washed them, removed all the bones. The next thing going in is my dried prawns. This will elevate the taste of this dish to another level entirely. Now is the time to add seasoning cube. I'm also going to be adding a bit of salt and that's all the seasoning you need. For extra heat and extra flavor, I have just added some cabaro pepper. <laughs> now you are going to allow it to fry till it is dry like this. When it's dry, you can add water and the jollof process will begin. After adding water, you're going to add your parboiled rice. I have a video on how I parboil rice. And parboiled rice is just basically boiling it for a few minutes, cooking it halfway before the main cooking. You're not going to put a lot of water because it's already parboiled. Just cover and allow to steam. Put it on low heat. When it's ready, this is how it would look. I still have a bit of water at the bottom, so I'm going to allow that dry a bit. When it's cooked like this, you can see now that it's cooked, you are going to add your vegetables. I'm going to be using ugu leaves for this. Add as many or as little as you like and mix everything together. At this stage, I like to add crayfish because of added flavor. It gives it a very, very nice taste just to give it that really, really local flavor. I'm serving it in my local native plates. 
this dish if you try it you're going to write me a love letter and be like Sissy Amy thank you you guys should try it I hope you enjoy this recipe click the like button don't forget to subscribe and share on your social media pages I'll see you guys in my next video bye